Okay, hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use resources in your project and load the information from them. So, in this uh, example, we have this project and we are going to add uh, a resource to it. And the way you do that is go to project and then display project properties and then go to resources and here you are going to see the available resources and actually the types available are strings right now you are displaying the strings uh, these are the images we have none uh, you can see these are the icons if you have any and files any kind kind of other files if you have other kind of resources etc so for now um, I'm going to add um, a file add a resource so I'm going to come here and say add existing file and from here I'm gonna go to pictures and select koala because I like them and now pay attention to this the name is koala you are not required to provide an extension or anything okay so to demonstrate this I'm gonna place a picture box uh, I'm an OP this is a picture box as you can see here I'm gonna click here and the size mode is gonna be zoom that's it so this is picture box one I'm gonna add a button to display the koala from the resource file okay so I'm gonna double click this one okay so in order to access a resource what you need is a resource manager so dimension RM as resource uh, resources dot resource manager okay so um, this is only the point up uh, the point where we are going to create the object now so rm equal a new resor uh, resources dot resource manager um, open a bracket and ne here you need to provide the base name and this part is the part where I always make mistakes now uh, the trick to fill the information correctly here is as follows in order to, to access the resources uh, you need to make sure that you are typing if you go to the application you will see that this is the root name space the assembly usually is the same but in case there are, there are differences make sure you are using the root name space this is what counts here so I'm gonna copy this okay if you you can even copy the name of the solution usually it will be the same but if this one gets changed you need to change your code accordingly so this is the name of the namespace and uh, this means you are going to and going to the whole solution you need to access the resources if you look at this think about it this way this is your project and then you are accessing resources so all you have to do is dot resources okay and that's it uh, the second parameter is called the assembly the unit you are gonna access so um, in order to get the uh, this one all you have you can say uh, all you have to do is this type system dot uh, reflection dot assembly and get executing assembly now this part will load them uh, will allow the resource manager to um, access these resources here okay and now we're gonna access uh, or load the information from the resource and the way we do it is like this uh, use rm dot get object and then provide the resource name in this case it's koala koala it's like that now we want to display the image in that case I am gonna say picture box one dot image equal rm get image that's it so just three lines of code and uh, that's it okay and uh, we're gonna save that let's test it and click here and you can see koala now these information are loaded from the resources let's try another type of resource here and in this case let's go to resources let's go to I'm gonna change this into strings um, the name uh, test str for example hi there okay so it's test str so let's go back here to our project I'm gonna 
display this here. Dimension my str equal rm dot get uh, string. I need what uh, we called uh, the resource test str, I believe. Right? Let me make sure. Okay, so it's test str. Okay. Uh, this is how you do it, and now uh, we, we are going to display that. So MSG box my str, okay. So now let's try it out, and you click here, and this is the koala, and this is the message box. So we were able to uh, <coughs> to display the image. Now um, let's say we want to add some kind of other resource like some kind of file so I'm gonna add an existing file and in this case I'm gonna go to the desktop and here um, I'm gonna try to well I'm gonna use this PDF okay and say open so this is a PDF file and I'm gonna rename it to uh, into test okay this is a PDF file and uh, I want to save this file. My executable will save this file somewhere on the on disk. So uh, I'm gonna add a button here. I'm gonna call it this for this one display image on string just to make it a little bit organized. Display image and text and this one will be save PDF file okay sorry it's the koala image a little bit bigger okay anyway so all we have to do is like this first we need to store the file name so dimension as FDLs a new uh, save file dialog as fd.filter equals star.pdf pipe star.pdf and if as fd.show dialog equal cancel then exit sub now this uh, sfd has the name of the file we need to get uh, uh, sorry we need to write the file so dimension b as byte as you can see here now b equal uh, we need to uh, load the information from the resource so again we're going to use something like that okay so here it's going to be b equal abc i i believe i called it abc right oh sorry i called it test i'm sorry so the name of the PDF file is test. Finally, I need to save the file. So all I have to do is like this: system.io.file.writeAll bytes, and I just pass the bytes of this file. Uh, I forgot to provide the name, which is sfd.file name, as you can see here. And this way, we can save the file. I'm gonna um, run this and click here go to the desktop um, test PDF okay and uh, I can display koala here if I go to the desktop I can see that this is test PDF as you can see it here I can double click that and display the information okay so um, this one's working fine and uh, as you can see using resources is very easy However, uh, there is a little bit um, of, a modifica uh, of a modification that you might need to do in case you used other resources. So right now we are not going to use the standard resource file, we are going to add one. So right click and select add and select a new item. And in this case we are going to search for resource file. There should be... this is a resource file. and. I'm gonna s uh, call this R file. Okay, I'm gonna click that. And now, since I have this one, um, I can 
I can add items to this one. Um, I am gonna add an image here. Um, okay, so add existing file. These are the pictures. I come here. Okay, this is jellyfish. And now I'm gonna use an I'll rename that WXYZ. Okay, so the name of, uh, of this file is WXYZ and it is inside our file. And now I am gonna display the, uh, this one. Wait a minute. I'm gonna change this to display koala. Display koala image. Okay, so that's it will be more accurate. I'm gonna copy this button and paste another one here and I'm gonna call this one display image from a different resource as you can see. So we are gonna use this time the R file here. Now the code is gonna be very similar. I'm gonna copy these three lines, copy, and uh, I'm gonna paste it here. Now, instead of using resources, we are gonna use our files. So in this case, our file, as you can see, and uh, the image is WXYZ. Uh, okay, so here, yes, uh, WXYZ. That's it. Um, let me run that. Click here and you can see now we are getting the information. Okay? Now, if you... If you don't change this and keep the original one, resources... Okay, check this out. Click here and you can see now your program will not work. Okay? So, uh... You, uh, the resource is not being loaded. Okay, it might be confusing because you you see all the files displayed under resources, but actually uh, the jellyfish image is stored inside the R file. So you need to pay attention to that. Okay, uh, you you can get uh, um, tricked by that. So again, it's uh, R file, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna show you what happens if you change. Uh, wait, before that, let's just check. It's working. Yeah, it's working. And uh, now let me show you what happens if you change project properties. If you change the namespace, so I'm gonna say one two three. I added one two three to the end of the namespace, and now I'm gonna run this. Check this out and an error, right? So, because I changed uh, the manifest, uh, sorry, the namespace. If I change the assembly without changing the namespace, it will work perfectly fine, right? So here, this one, na changing the namespace, uh, if you change that, you will have to change every other place that you are referencing the resources, okay? So now, I've just changed the assembly and now I can still use the resources perfectly fine because the namespace is correct. Okay, uh, what also do I need to mention? Okay, usually, usually, after using the resources, you have to say rm.release or resources. Okay, um, so you just need to put this one so that you make sure that there are no other resources being used and uh, yeah okay I guess that will be all for for using resources uh, I'm gonna add a few comments here and also upload this example into uh, the website okay so if you have further questions uh, regarding uh, pb.net programming let me know Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Goodbye.